All right, hello, and it is Silver Kyle, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the recently reprinted Silver Surfer Omnibus Volume 1 by Stan Lee and John Bashima. And this was a whale of an omnibus for the longest time. For It went out of print, and when it did, the, the prices skyrocketed until the reprint was announced. And it's a rather, a rather slim omnibus that was demanding, you know, such high prices. Uh, we're only getting 18 issues of the series... Uh, so number 1 to 18, and Fantastic Four number 5, and not Brand Eck number 13. Granted, the first 8 issues, I believe, are double the size of what a normal comic book would be. So they're, you know, in the 40 range instead of 20 page range. Uh, it does retail for less uh, than most Omnibus nowadays. It, it retails for $100 in uh, the US and $127 in Canada. But we're only getting 576 pages. Just to give you an idea of what most Omnibus that I deal with anyway... Here's the Wolverine, which is also just reprinted this year as well. And this is about 1,064 pages. Uh, what We got lucky, though, because they kept the, the original price. So it's the exact same price as the Silver Surfer Omnibus. 1,064 pages, 576. You're getting about half in this and paying the same price. So just bear that in mind. I mean, if you're a big surfer fan or, or, or a collector like myself, uh, then it's totally worth it. And you can no normally get this for at least half off, if not a little bit lower. I got it close to half off from Amazon. I got it for about $80, so I was very happy with that. And yeah, I've never really... I know I know of the surfer, obviously, but um, I've never read any of his own comics. So I'm excited to dive into this. I've already stretched out the spine, so let's take off the... But I haven't looked really too much at it. I just stretched it out, and that's it. So uh, we get... Uh, the Sentinel of Spaceways, the Silver Surfer, and a little bit of information about the creators. Let's take off the desk jacket. Put that to the side for now. I mean, it's a Silver Age uh, omnibus, so we're not going to get any wraparound cover, which is okay. I like that the Silver Age um, omnibus are kind of plain like this. So, uh, let's put that to the side over there. We'll dig in a little bit. The teams. That is a nice pick. Wow. I like that a lot. So here we have... Okay, so yeah, so we see that um, that's about 40 pages, issue number one. Same thing for issue two. I think it was eight. Uh, eight. Uh, yeah. Issue number. No. Yeah. Issue number eight is about. Uh, it, that goes back to normal afterwards. I just love that, that we have contents. Like, I, I, I hate it when an omnibus comes without the table of contents. I want to know, um, you know, the years. I, I love reading that kind of stuff. That, that That's, that's for some reason, I, re I really care about that. Uh, but I also want to know what issues I'm on. There's just a lot that goes into it. We have a, a forward here by Stanley from 1990, probably when they were doing the Masterworks. Issue number one self, the big premiere. I always liked the look of Silver Surfer. I remember as a kid, I didn't even know anything about the Surfer other than like seeing that he was a comic book character, but I was, I was actually, uh, well, all right then. I did not expect that at all. Um, I was going to say, I, I, I loved the Hulk back then, and I, I read a lot of Hulk comics, and I made a comic book, because I just loved the look of S Silver Surfer, uh, of Hulk and Silver Surfer teaming up. So it's just very interesting that in the first issue, Hulk is actually there. I did not expect... <laughs> that couldn't have been more perfect uh, in terms of timing. There's the, the image that we saw earlier. Really like the look of everything here. And as you can see that it's laying flat, you know, we were at the beginning of the book within the first, by the contents page, it was laying flat. Uh, we're not really getting much gutter loss at all here. The, it, we are being, um, it's, it's helping out that we do have the white on the sides. The border kind of pushing it back a bit further. Oh, I'm going to like this. Oh, and we do have, I didn't, I didn't know if we were going to get that. So we're, we do get the actual uh, letters that came in uh, that were included with um, the Silver Surfer comic book. We'll take a look at the extras at the very end there. 
think that was not brown deck there. Not a lot of extras by the looks of things. So we'll just hide that, but that's not brand X, so it doesn't really matter. A little bit more from Stan Lee in 1975, though. Uh, covers that were already, I think, included. They look a little bit different from the, uh, I don't know, in biographies. No, not a lot of extras at all. And we'll just look at the binding now. So it is sewn binding, and it's not like the recent Wolverine, that one of the few negatives about the printing that we had from like three omnibus from a few months ago is that Wolverine came with this really straight uh, binding where it doesn't actually, uh, there, an eye uh, doesn't really pop up. Whereas this is going, going back to the old uh, good binding from Marvel uh, where we will see an eye. I don't know if we'll see it as much with a small omnibus like this, but uh, let's open her up and see. Oh yeah, it's there. Look at that. That's beautiful. Other than the cardboard kind of sticking out there. I'll kind of push that guy back in. There we go. That's what we want to see. So there you have it. The Silver Surfer Omnibus. Volume 1 that has now been reprinted. Uh, thank you all for watching. You have been rated in. Beardage.